What's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna go ahead and break down the Pelican case that I use for all my Pavel tube lights. If you guys have followed my channel for some time, you guys know that I own a lot of Nanlite Pavel tubes. So in today's video, I'm just gonna break down this Pelican case, so let's get started. All right, so let's get started with this Pelican case, the 1770. Now, keep in mind, this case right here, it might be discontinued. I tried looking just to provide you guys the details for it, but I feel like no one has it. And if you're lucky, you might have one store that has one left in stock. But I did find one with similar specs and dimensions and all for you guys to go ahead and purchase it in case you guys were looking for a case for your Pavel tubes. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's only like $200 compared to this one, it's like $500. So you're actually gonna save yourself money. Now that one I think is a little bit smaller, but it'll hold for the most part 90 to 95% of what I have here. And of course, I'm pretty sure you guys are not gonna use everything that I put in this case. So let's get started with what I put in this case. I'm um, gonna talk about each one so you guys can get an idea on what you can actually fit in this case or the one that I provided for you guys. So clearly, as I stated, it's the Nanlite Pavel tubes. Now we have the four footers and it holds four of them. One is underneath the bottom, so it's obviously two and two. And the same thing for these two footers right here, which we have extra as well in the bottom. So grand total, I have eight of them in here. All right, so now the next thing that I have in this case is a tablet. And of course, the reason why I have this tablet is because I also own the Nanlite Wi-Fi adapter. Now, the one benefit, again, you know, like I mentioned, it's definitely clutch to have a case like this because you're able to put everything. It's kind of like the Asteras, if you guys think about it. It comes with everything built inside. Of course, you can't charge all these tubes at once, but everything that you need for these tube lights, it's in this case. So it's beneficial to have it. So the tablet benefit to this is better than a phone. Trust me, if you guys were, I don't know how to explain it, but if you guys were to have this Wi-Fi adapter and you guys were to download the app, it's way better to do it on a tablet. It's easier to navigate and do all this with your all your lights compared to a phone. You're very limited. The app is not the greatest right now at this point of time. So I will tell you guys that the phone is not the best option. You guys will need a tablet right now, which is sad to say, but again, the app needs a lot of work. Now, the only benefit I'll tell you guys to go with this Wi-Fi adapter for all these Pavel tubes is because you're able to save a lot of battery. So obviously, if you guys don't have this, you guys have to go to each Pavel tube, turn them on, turn them off. And that it requires you to walk to each Pavel tube and do that. With this one, you're able to go from a distance. Normally, I have a gaffer on set, which would be my girl, and she'll just be turning off the lights when I need it. And these Pavel tube lights end up lasting for the majority of the shoot, which could be eight to 10 hours. So. Wi-Fi adapter, that's one reason why I will tell you guys to purchase it right now. It's just for these Pavel tubes to last you a long time compared to walking to each one and turning it off. But yes, yeah, so we have the Wi-Fi adapter, Pavel tubes, and the tablet. So the next thing is, it also fits this, which this light just came out not too long ago. It's the Pavel tube 60. So again, I think this one, it might, it actually fits three. So you can put two on top of this. So you're also able to have three of these Pavel 260s. Again, you never know when you might need a small light. Sometimes you don't have the flexibility of, you know, using these Pavel tubes, or you might not want them to be seen in the background. So you want something small that you're gonna be able to hide on set, something practical. Light like this can always come in clutch. I will always recommend for you guys to have this. And this case allows you to bring these on set as well. So it's not just a Pavel 2 4 and 2 footers, but you're also able to get the mini light as well. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is these clamps that come with the Pavel 2. So obviously when you buy these, the one thing you guys can do is you guys can mount the Pavel 2s obviously. And it has a little thread in the bottom that you guys can put on the light stand. What I did though is I put magnets on all my clamps. So now all these Pavel tubes, I can put them up anywhere I want. The one issue I was having is when I was on set figuring out where I'm gonna put all these Pavel tubes, how am I gonna put them up? Gaffer's tape was one way of putting them up on walls and whatnot, but now I figured out this and this is another reason why I had to get a case because now all these clamps have magnets on them and I do need all of them because the four footers, they will slip off if you only put two. So you have to put three clamps on the four footers and two clamps will be fine for the two footers. So that's why I also needed this case. It's because again, of all these things that I needed, it's just like the Asteris in some way. So I call this like a cheap Asteria kit, but it works just like Asteris. Now, obviously, you know, there's another story for everything the Asteris will offer, but for the most part, for what I'm shooting, these lights do the job. Now, if you guys do want a tutorial on how I went about these magnets and how I put them on each clamp, 
leave a comment below and I can definitely do that. This is clutch, trust me. You don't know how many times you can just grab this, put them up on C-stands or anywhere you want. Just put them, it's, just, it's easy. So that was like the biggest uh, thing that I learned this year, how to do that because it allowed me to just maximize production, to be honest. Um, and it's easier just to put things up rather than having to gaff or tape or figure out a way. Like, let's just say this right here. These little wires, like you just can't hang them everywhere. So magnets are a lot better. Um, of course, I do have them somewhere here. I don't know, but these cables are here. And to add on to that also, we have a screwdriver. So the downfall when with these magnets and this screw is at times it ends up getting loose. So I have a screwdriver just in case. So there is that. Now, the last thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this is the power box, the cables, to so obviously make sure the power tools are getting charged. We have the gaffer's tape here. Again, you just never know when you might need it. Now, these lights don't need it or anything, but again, I'd rather just have a backup. You just never know. You can never go wrong with bringing enough gaffer's tape on set. There's always a time when you might need them. And the last thing underneath this clamp is Sony MPF battery. I have this clamp just right there, just chilling from the last shoot that we did, but realistically we have two Sony MPF batteries. Now with the Wi-Fi adapter, these are the batteries that you will need. This big battery right here will last about 24 hours, to be honest, um, it doesn't kill anything. I think we tried one and it that actually had a LED indicator on the top on how much battery is remaining and it didn't even kill one bar. So you don't really need a lot of batteries. So two is enough and they both fit perfectly. And this little slot that I made, Again, don't judge me with all these bad little things right here. Um, I just got excited when I got this and I was like, yo, this is gonna be dope. And I ended up doing a bad job. This side, my girl did so it looks good. But this side, I just destroyed it. Wait, at the end of the day, it's still organized. And yeah, if you guys are planning to buy a lot of Pavel tubes, let's say like eight or let's just say 12 or 10 or whatever, this does fit one on top of each one. So technically you could put two more four footers and two more two footers and two more 60 Pavel to the mini ones. So you can definitely fit a lot within this box. Again, I did provide a link in the description below. It's not the same one, but it is a lot cheaper and is very similar dimensions. It's maybe like an inch shorter in some area, but for the most part, it's gonna fit everything. And again, I'm making this video just to show you guys what you can put in a case, how essential it is, how clutch it can come when you're on set. Again, if you guys are hiring other people to come on set with you and it's your first time, it's easier to tell them, go get that box. All those tubes are there, bring them. Instead of, here we go, each bag that it comes with, they gotta take out three, then another three, and then another three. They just open this case and it's just all here. So this is definitely something that I do recommend for you guys to get. If you guys are looking to buy more Pavel tube, look into this case. But if you guys only own two or three, I wouldn't recommend it. This is more of someone that has six to eight or 10, this case will definitely do the job for you guys and you guys will thank yourselves because it's clutch. The bad thing is, this case, it is heavy. So if you guys like this video, drop it a like. Again, if you guys have any comments in regards to everything I covered, leave a comment below. I'll try my best to answer. Subscribe if you guys are new here and I'll catch you guys on the next one because it is hot as hell. LA right now, we're looking at like, what is it, 105? Why aren't you talking? <laughs> nah, so it's 105, yeah, by the way, my girl is back there, so, uh, but it's 105 or 110, whatever the case is, hot, so, yeah, now I gotta take this case out of this desk, so this thing is heavy and it's massive, but you guys will thank me. Anyways, guys, peace out.